This is going to be a really quick tutorial on how to stream your digital vibrance through Twitch or whatever game or whatever streaming platform you're using on the same computer. So you don't have to have a secondary streaming PC with a graphic or with a capture card to capture the digital vibrancy uh, that everybody sees. We're actually going to we're all on the same computer right here. And we're actually going to put a filter. It's a saturation filter on H1Z1. So I'm going to uh, be showing you how to do that. I'm going to go to game. And then we're going to go to filters. And then we're going to go to add. And then we're going to go to, I think it's color correction. Yeah, color correction. Now, take a look at this. Now I'm going to put my saturation up a little bit. See the saturation? This is digital vibrancy, basically. Uh, I usually put mine at, uh, let's see. I usually put mine at like 100. So you guys are gonna see that screen in a second. Okay, so we're gonna close that. So right now, now you're gonna see it right now. So this is H1Z1 with 100% digital vibrance saturation and this is how you can capture your digital vibrancy when you play it on your side and show your stream what you're seeing you're seeing all these deep rich colors of h1z1 with digital vibrancy and if you guys want to know how to actually set up digital vibrancy so you can actually see this uh, I have a link in the description down below on how to install a program that activates as soon as you open up any game that needs digital vibrancy, any game, and it'll activate. And then when you exit that game, it'll deactivate. Um, so check the description down below for that video. And uh, as always, don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. So this has been a digital vibrancy, OBS, filter, all on the same computer tutorial. So you don't have to have a secondary streaming PC with a capture card. All right, I'll talk to you guys in the next one.